given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe Hello and welcome to Seek Truth and Speak Truth I hope you're enjoying your day on this rotating oblate spheroid Um, little quick one today I'm really ex actually excited about the SpaceX Starlink satellites um, I think it's just a brilliant advancement for man, uh, for mankind. Uh, it's going to be providing sort of internet for areas that, you know, basically have bad access, things like that. So bringing the world forwards is never a bad thing. Uh, so Elon Musk, I salute you. Um, when I was a flat earther, I thought you were the evilest man on the planet. I thought you were a cyborg at one point not quite but um you know artificially intelligent maybe but now i know that you are one of the greatest people alive right now in my opinion um obviously you must have loved uh nikolai tesla uh hence calling your car the tesla and i just think you're the mo the modern day tesla without people like you uh the world would not advance the way that it is um, and I saw your interview on Joe Rogan um, quite recently, sort of after I came out of Flat Earth, because before I wouldn't have been able to watch it. But now I understand your journey and the incredible things that you're trying to do for this planet and the future of humanity. Um, on the Joe Rogan, he was chatting about, you know, even civilization. Um, the world will end one day. Um, and maybe even the universe, but I think we will end before the universe does, when basically the sun burns out or loses energy. Um, Elon described it as when the sun dries out the oceans, um, and I don't know if that's what will happen, but, you know, it seems to me like at some point, and he suggested 500 million years, um life will not be able to exist on planet Earth. Uh, and if you think really, it's only been the last 250 years that we as a, you know, species have just leapfrogged and just made massive advancements. Uh, I know obviously we've evolved over millions of years, um, but I really do believe we are at a pinnacle right now. Um, even I do think sometimes we have advanced quicker than our own biology has, so I feel I, I personally feel like that's why a lot of people are stressed and uh, just can't deal with the world around us, basically because uh, you know these people with great minds causing all this amazing technology and advancements, but there basically are people still out there with the mind of a monkey, um, and they do find it difficult, I think, uh, and I was the same, hence why I became a flat earther. I had to close everything in. The universe seemed too big and too too massive for my mind to comprehend. So that's why I had to bring it all in. Suddenly believe in a God because it made me feel safe and just, you know, not part of this massive expanding universe. But what I think Elon did touch on actually, like I say, is he wants to go to Mars. That is plausible, plausibly done. Um, and obviously the further out you get, even out of our solar system, it just becomes more and more difficult. But we've look how far we've advanced in 250 years, and we've now got another 500 billion years. Um, even in 100 billion years, imagine how far advanced we will be. And as a human race, I do now believe that we probably will be looking for other solar systems, habitable planets, and I see no reason why, within 500 million years, the human species will not carry on, just not in our solar system. We will be aliens ourselves. Um, there's no reason why it can't. Um, I mean, obviously, it's just the fact of how long it will take to get there. So I could assume, you know, if we could have a ship with, say, 50 different people on there, 25 men, 25 women, they may even have to start breeding on the ship, um, having babies out in space, basically a colony that would live whilst travelling to all these places. 
it seems so, so far-fetched right now, but I can actually see that happening. Uh, so yeah, I just want to do a quick video on Starlink. A, because it destroys Flat Earth, uh, proves gravity, and proves satellites exist. So it's like a triple whammy, really. Uh, and again, you could look at the, the Starlink from your location, measure the angle, and then ask somebody else as far away as pos possible to measure, and you will find out that these measurements are only possible on a globe Earth. So it's a triple whammy, that's why I'm happy. Um, and I just wanted to get your opinions, your ideas on what you think the future of the human race is. And like I say, I'm not talking in 200, 300, 400 years. I'm talking where do you think we'll be in 100 million years time? It's a long, long, long time for us to advance. Um, and it does make me think there's no reason why we cannot carry on past 500 million years. Um we might be the only life forms out there. We don't know. There's no confirmation of life out there. Perhaps we are the only life. But give us 200 million years. Um, we might have gone to another planet. And even completely lost ties of the fact that we came from Earth. And then re-find Earth again and think there's aliens. There's so many possibilities. And I just think it's amazing. And I wanted to just talk about something that, like I say, kills Flat Earth. But gives me hope for the future. Hope for humanity. And to make me realise that at the minute, we are in one of the most important parts of human history. And it feels great to be part of that. I'm going to show you the Starlink satellites now. So we're going to go over to that. Right, so as you can see here, this is Starlink from Elon Musk and SpaceX. Some astronomers I have heard are a little bit miffed at this because apparently they are so bright that it makes astronomy difficult because we all know if there's light in the town or things like that, it's difficult to see the stars. So it, it's one step forward for the future of mankind, but also kind of a step back in other ways. I feel, but proof of gravity, proof satellites exist, and if you was to measure the angles of this all over the locations of Earth, you would confirm globe Earth. It's one giant leap for man and one massive step back for flat Earth. Good night, FE. Good night. What an amazing sight that was. Like I said, I think they're going past me tonight at about 10 past 9. Uh, you can go on findstarlink.com to be able to track where they will be. Obviously on a clear night, you will be able to have confirmation that satellites exist. And you will be able to see it with your own eyes. So that's great. Keep it global. Keep clean. Keep safe. Keep coming back. You're giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed.